living in an apartment or don't have a big yard to work with when it comes to gardening or adding some flowers to your yard, you can still brighten up your space. We have some fun ideas for you this morning. The Valley Today's Abby Furchner is showing us how you can add some color and fun to your patio. Good morning, Abby. Well, good morning, you guys. I'm here with Allison at SNS Landscaping and you guys nailed it. A lot of people think you need to have this big yard to do some landscaping or to get those flowers, that bright patio. But when it comes to fruits and vegetables, you don't necessarily need to have all that space. No, you don't necessarily need a lot of space. We've actually got some varieties here today that are perfect for growing on a small balcony or in a small garden or on a patio uh, that you can even do in an apartment building. So we have some strawberries here. We'll start here because oh, sure. that's the most simple probably. <laughs> oh, and they're just delicious. So these here are an annual strawberry. This is an ever sweet strawberry. These are ever bearing. Uh, you can place these into small planters on a patio or balcony. They can even go into a hanging basket. As you can Ooh. see, they're not just beautiful, but also we've got some lovely strawberries yeah, got a producing here. So they can definitely be put in a small space as long as they get a nice amount of sun. And I love these jelly beans. Or not. You got it. You got these it. These blueberries, I gave it away. I love the name of these blueberries. They're called the jelly yep, bean this blueberries. This is a jelly bean blueberry. These guys here are a compact dwarf variety that are perfect to put uh, in a planter on a patio or a balcony. Uh, these guys not only have a super sweet flavor, but they get a beautiful foliage color. You get reds and green okay. holes in that foliage, so they're edible and beautiful. And we have to talk about this. This is my absolute favorite. You can have apples, an apple tree on your balcony. Yes, you can. So these guys here are a North Pole columnar apple tree. Oh my gosh. Uh, these guys here are only going to get about two to three feet wide, so they're perfect to keep inside a planter. You can definitely have those up on your balcony. Um, they can be pollinated by just about any other variety of apple and they're a great space saver and a great food producer. There's a bunch of apples on there. I just can't believe that. I think that is the coolest thing ever, but if you need some help, you know, getting started planting, we'll give you some tips and tricks on how you can, uh, how you can plant, plant those uh, strawberries. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of different ideas that so I would have never even really no thought of. No, so. and uh, the strawberries that you, you grow in your own yard or on the patio just taste so much better than yeah. I think what you can get in a store because you know where they're coming from, you know what you put into them. And, Makes sense. Yeah. All right, we'll check in with Abby again soon. Speaking